When I left off, I had just finished painting my details layer, and I think that my view was back in base color. So this was my base color. If I switch back over to material, now I can see my little iguana with the lighting, and it is awfully shiny. So the next thing that I want to add is a roughness map. And you probably remember from the Easter eggs that what roughness does is it takes the shine and breaks the shiny areas up so that they are less solid. For this, I want to do this the easiest way possible. So I'm going to make a new layer and we'll just call this roughness 01. And on my roughness layer, I'm going to turn off all of my material options except for this normal. I'm going to leave, oops, sorry, no, roughness. We're painting a roughness map. We should probably use roughness. And let's switch over and look at my current roughness map. Oh, it doesn't exist. So with the roughness, I'm going to start with one of the defaults that they've got available to us. So I've right clicked on my layer and in right click I'm going to head down towards the bottom and I'm going to add a fill to this. When I add that fill I get this little fill icon under my layer and that actually resets the material. So I'm going to tell it just roughness thank you. You'll see that all of my brush stuff is kind of there but the big thing that I care about is under roughness it says uniform color. If I click on that I get a whole bunch of preset roughnesses. So feel free to play around with this. I'm going to use this one which just gives me this nice broken up texture. And now if I go back to material you'll see that all of that shine is nice and broken up. It is still looks a little shiny on this side, but that's probably just the lighting. Over here you can really see how the roughness map is changing. Now I very intentionally called this one Roughness 01 because I think it's really nice to have a couple of these and just try blending the presets together and see what happens. So let's practice with another one. I will call this one Roughness 02. And again, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a fill. You should note that there are other things here. Um, filters will let you add like a color balance kind of effect and a few other things. Levels will let you adjust a histogram. You've seen fill. Uh, there's also generators and if we were working with a more complex model, generators might be important, but right now they're not going to be great. So I'm just going to add another fill and again I'm just going to paint on my roughness. So let's go look at roughness. And again it's just set to uniform color right now so maybe, whoo, let's not use that one. Maybe we'll try some of these other ones and just see what they do. Maybe that'll be fun. So now let's go back to the material and now we've got all of these interesting streaky bits. But you'll note that my two roughness maps are not playing together well, so this is a good time to start changing some of my blending modes. Maybe we'll multiply. Maybe we'll multiply this whole layer and eventually I will be able to get these two things to play together nicely although I don't seem to be yet. So I'm going to go ahead and play with this and just see what I can do to get these two things to blend together and you are going to go ahead and try making a roughness map so that you can break up some of the highlights on your material. Okay, I told you at the beginning that there were going to be a bunch of things where I didn't know what I was doing and I fumbled around and that was one of them. So I think that the problem with the blending modes is that my layer itself was set to base color and not to roughness. 
and hopefully as soon as I set this to roughness I will be able to set it to multiply yes and there we go now I am blending between my two roughness channels and now let's just make this one a little bit more transparent so it's nice and faint and that should give me a really beautiful roughness map and let's just see what that looks like under material maybe that is a little too subtle I want a little bit more of those stripes since I went to all the trouble of making them so let's turn that back up and see if I've got anything no it's like it turned off completely well that is great so I'm going to have to research that too uh, maybe I'll just turn this one off and now this one will be my roughness map so I'll do a little bit more research into that hopefully I won't interrupt you with it again and I will move straight into creating a normal map so you'll see me soon